Right guys, I'm playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, Call of Duty 3 obviously, Modern Warfare. I was talking about a game that I'm, I'm looking at uh, that's uh, free to play on Steam. I think it's called World War Next. It's, it's very similar to... Um, ah, damn it. Wow. Ah, that was raw. <laughs> he had the cover, he didn't have cover, but anyway. Um, wow, I'm running out of bullets. I've got nowhere else to go. Oh, no, no, not you, not you. Oh, my God, please, please leave me alone. Ah, I should have left that dog chase after him. Right, so the World War Next thingy that I'm looking at looks like a battle pitch for master. Right, so, where are these zombies going? Oh, what? How did that happen? Did, okay, the thing is, the mosquito is supposed to kill the enemy. Is that guy close to me? Did I get him? I really didn't get how I died there. That's so weird. Oh my god. I did not see that dude at all, man. I thought I was just fighting zombies. Right, so. Battle Bits are mastered. I'm gonna get killed by zombies. Ah, damn it. Ah. It's like the zombies really dominate in this game, man. Right, I'm, I'm actually playing this game on Ultra. So normally I'll, I'll just have like a few options. I got two, two of them. Really? Wow, I'm, I'm really amazing myself now. So I was getting a lot of kills before when I played on normal, but suddenly you go to ultra, everything does change. Oh, damn! Right. So I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm not saying the ultra thing is bad. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying um, maybe I would have been getting. Where's this dude coming from? Wow! Wow! That's something else. I'm using the SV4. That's the weapon that I've got right now. Wow. Got a few kills. Nice one. Right, so why am I playing this on Ultra? Well, I just wanted to see. I wanted to find out how it, my laptop performs on Ultra. patient so I should have been a bit more patient I probably would have gone that dude right so I'm actually playing this in ultra I'm, I'm still getting kills damn it ah <laughs> I'm so weird the only benefit that I'm seeing about ultra is the fact that things do appear to be a whole lot, um, a whole lot more. Um, I don't know what the word to to use is like a whole lot clearer, like a whole lot clearer. That's the only uh, sense that I'm getting. Uh, apart from that, like like for example, I'll tell you what I'm what I'm getting the most from Ultra. I can actually see where people are, like from a distance. I can actually tell, okay, this person is at such, such a point. You understand? So that's what I mean, like this, they just appear much clearer. Can actually see where someone is. 
Like, if someone just appears right now, starts running, I would know automatically where they were going, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so it's, it's just much clearer. You see what I mean? So you can actually see people better. I don't know what other word to use. Like, it's just clearer. Like, you can actually tell that this person is standing like this or is crouching. You can see it from a distance. So the distance thing is what I'm talking about. You see? Unless, like, like there are times, of course, that I'll miss them. But, of course, there are, most of the time, it's like the person appears much clearer. Like, they can appear like... I don't know if they're hiding, you get... You get well, that guy was hidden really well. <laughs> I wouldn't have seen him. And the other thing I have to say is the, the zombies do, um, they do appear to be a whole lot more realistic. You know, like they, they, they really do look like zombies, like proper zombies. Ah, the guy is camping there again. So. So th those are the things that I'm taking from uh, Ultra. Like the graphics are a whole lot sharper, you know? Like they're sharper. You can actually see people from a distance. You can see what they're doing, if they're crouching. I mean, from apart from this guy, he's just wearing, he's wearing, he's wearing all black, you know? And look where he was. It's hard to, to see. Ah, check this out. I got 40 zombies. And I got nine kills. I was a top top one, but what I have to say, what I'm saying is, the the people appear clearer. You you understand what I mean? Like you can actually see them from a distance. You can actually see that this is the enemy. This guy is crouching or he is lying down. You can see it from a distance. So it's it's in normal. I wouldn't be seeing that detail. I would see only when I get closer to the person. Like oh, this is a person right there. You understand? But I wouldn't see you like from a distance. So with Ultra, what I'm saying is everything just appears clearer on the screen. And because my laptop's got OLED, it's just brighter. You know, I can actually tell the differences. This is a wall. This is a person. This person's jumping. I can see the direction he's going in. So it's clearer. You know, it's just like, oh, okay, I, I know where you're going type of thing. So if I was a pro player, for example, I would be gunning down a lot of people. But obviously, I'm just someone who's um, having fun on the game. I just, I just enjoy the game, so for me, it's just all about fun. But what I'm saying is, I can actually tell the differences with Ultra and with uh, the basic game, you know? looks a whole lot nicer. I, I don't know what else to say. Everything, the walls look nicer, the lighting looks a whole lot nicer, you know? You can tell differences with this. I can see why people... Hey! First kill, I got first kill. Someone's coming in. Zombies, where are the elite zombies? Oh wait, I think they're behind. What is the dude? Someone's out there. I don't want to get shot though. I 
to do there because I was running away from that zombie. Ah, wow. What the hell, man? The guy is even side to side with my teammate. What's going on with this dude? Can't he see? Ah, we try, we try and get this dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> I was trying to get him. That was so weird. Ah, the zombie man. Oh no, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. And, and you know, the other thing I've got to mention is the zombies do look a, a whole lot more colorful, you know? Or can I say the word realistic? I can see why people prefer playing on Ultra, man. Because you can, you can see things better. So which way are we going? Oh, we're going back. Oh my god. I didn't even see that dude. Ah, what the hell? He's doing crouching tiger. Down. I couldn't see him properly. He's very clever. What the hell? <laughs> I always go down and that's going up. Right, so the other examples I gave of why you need to play with zombies is because you can get all your score straight without killing the enemy. Like I got all of mine, I got the mounted turret gun. I got also the, I don't know what it's called, that's, that cluster mine thing. And I also got mosquitoes, so I got everything. So what I'm saying is that it's beneficial just to have, um, to play, uh, what do you call this thing? Sorry, I'm just looking at the new games that are up and coming. Um, I'm trying to look for some 
But Nightingale is a, I think it's an open, yeah, it's, okay, it's online call. I thought this was going to be more like, um, what do you call this uh, thing? I thought it was going to be more of an online uh, PvP, but it's, it's just a call game. Okay? Right, so the gun I'm using is SV4. Like I said, you don't need a scope. The only reason I got scope on this one is because I'm using the mountain, the mountain lava version, which doesn't allow me to use the the flashlight. So I've got this, I've got a sniper scope. I mean, I've got the laser thing on this one, but I wish I had the the flashlight. The flashlight would have been just so much easier. Oh wow, shooting the wrong person. Oh, I got those dudes. I'm actually playing this on Ultra though. So that's what's really shocking me and surprising me. Because normally I wouldn't be playing this on Ultra. I just play this on normal. But what's shocking me the most is that the Ultra and the normal are actually getting me the same FPS, the same frames per second. But I did have a different software on here. So I'm thinking like... I'm thinking like it's possible... Ah! Damn it. So I'm thinking it's possible that um, all along I may have been using the wrong uh, graphic setting for my laptop. But I, I, I also think, I also do think maybe it's also because, obviously, it may also be um, as, as a result of, um, may also have been a result of um, the software that I had on my laptop. Oh my God. I had the software called, um, if you guys have not, heard of the software, it's called Overwolf. So Overwolf, I had I had actually never used it before, like nothing. But uh, for purposes, for purposes that I thought, I thought I was benefiting somehow by having that software on my laptop. And it actually, Actually, the software itself is, I, I believe, it's what was disturbing my laptop from playing games properly. Because it was disturbing, it was disturbing my Wi-Fi connect, um, my Wi-Fi features. And uh, apart from Wi-Fi features, I think it was also disturbing. Apart from Wi-Fi features, I think it was also disturbing, um, you know, like the... My Wi-Fi is, you know, the my laptop's got software for Wi-Fi, right? So that Wi-Fi that it's got, um, it's the Wi-Fi 6E, and it's got certain type of um, features for game for gaming, you know. So it's got certain features for gaming. You, you understand? Every time I was I was having my laptop, I didn't realize that this software was turning turning off certain features on the Wi-Fi that are actually designed are actually designed to help my my gaming, you know, like prioritizing the gaming just for uh, on my laptop, like the Wi-Fi for um, thingy. You understand? So. I, I then I then discovered that it was having a negative effect on my Wi-Fi. So why when I was thinking that maybe it could just be the the fact that my laptop is throttling, it was actually this. So it's actually this software that was disturbing my my Wi-Fi you know features. 
because the like I said, my laptop comes with software that enables it to game, like you know, to prioritize gaming. And this, uh, what the software was doing, it was actually dis disabling certain features that my laptop uses for gaming. You understand? So it's got something called Game Fast, which is prioritizing gaming, yada yada, all of these things. And uh, yeah, it's it's just it's just a basic fact that um, they they may have been other like my Wi-Fi also has other features. So there's there's just other features that my Wi-Fi provides my laptop for gaming, you know. And those I noticed that those softwares or those things were being disabled, and I just I just didn't like ah damn it I just didn't understand how those features were getting turned off. So Game Fast was on, but uh, Auto Bandwidth was off. And obviously, because obviously my Wi-Fi changes, I got two different Wi-Fi: the 2.5, and the 5, the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So you know, it's it's just helping my Wi-Fi to like find the best connection, isn't it? The best Wi-Fi for gaming. So all those features were being turned off by by Overwolf, you know, this uh, software that I have installed. So I've uninstalled it. I've also put Malabytes as well on my laptop to remove any trojans or viruses that I may have uh, gotten from you know software that I download because I download a lot of software uh, for my laptop. Well, previously I used to. I don't do that now, but I used to do it before. So, oh my god, oh my god, damn it! I didn't see it's good. So, so what I'm saying is that um, I, I then discovered that it's, it's actually the software that I had installed that I didn't understand that was actually it was actually working in the background, but it's it's designed to to cap your FPS, you know, like um, not to cap it, but it's it's got something to do with um, it's got something to do with FPS on your uh, on your gaming. So I don't know what it does exactly, like what does it do, I don't know, but it was, I didn't realize it was messing up my, my uh, Wi-Fi settings. So now I've removed it and I'm not having any issues now with my Wi-Fi. So the software is called Overwolf. So I don't know if maybe I wasn't using it correctly or what, but I, I removed it from my laptop. The other, the other one I used to use was uh, Razer Cortex. But I've, I've removed Razor Cortex, I don't use Razor Cortex anymore. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, sometimes if you, if you see your laptop's not performing good, it doesn't mean your laptop is bad, it's, it could just be a factor that, um, you know, that maybe the software that you're using is what's uh, messing up your... Maybe that's what's messing up your uh, thing. What is that thing? Oh, dance. Oh, that's the other zombie thing, isn't it? I've actually completed a lot of these. Is this the first one? This is Black Cell, isn't it? Right, so like I said, sometimes you, you may see your laptop not performing well, and it's not always the case. Uh, I'll suggest checking on what, some uh, check on the software. Check, check on the software that you've got installed on your laptop. It might be a software that is, is disabling another software because it sent a message on my screen. It sent a message on my screen and I didn't understand it, so I had to do a Google search to find out what the, what it was meaning, like what it meant. I had to do something to see what it meant. So 
tried to do software to see what that uh, meant and it, what it meant actually the, the 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 glitch it was a software glitch on my laptop and the glitch was saying something about um, uh, one software that was disabled in another software uh, to function properly on my laptop so what I'm saying is uh, you should check your laptop to see what's really going on because it, it may it may just be It, it may just be a factor that maybe your laptop is working perfectly, but um, a, a particular software that you may have downloaded recently could be causing all your problems on your laptop. So that's what I'm saying. It, it was happening a lot. So that's why I'm saying that uh, you need to check the software you've got installed. Oh yeah, and if you're killing zombies, you can actually still get your score streaks. Ah, damn it. You can still get your score streaks if you're killing zombies, so don't worry. If you haven't killed any people, don't worry, you'll still get score streaks. Uh, that's, so, I mean, you will get some kills. You might not get a lot of kills, but you'll still get kills. So that's why I'm saying don't worry if you don't get a lot of kills. You'll still, you'll still be able, you'll still be able to get score streaks. That's what I'm saying. Someone else here. <laughs> oh my god. The way he just ran in. I think that's a dude that likes using a knife because the way he ran in, I was like, hmm. You see, he was, he was really running. I was like, I think when he saw me, he just knew it was over. Game over. Oh, I'm actually playing this game on Ultra as well. And um, like I said before, graphically, the game is very clear. Oh yeah, you know stun grenades actually affect the zombies in this game. Uh, I don't think anyone's talking about that. If you use a stun grenade in this game and the zombies, let's say the zombies are empty, the zombies are close, within close range, and you use a stun grenade, it will actually affect the zombies. I didn't know that before, so that's... I mean, I haven't heard anyone talking about it. The zombies will be affected. Right, the SV4 that I've got is actually got the Molten Lover skin uh, because I purchased the Battle Pass. And I did say if you've got problems purchasing the Battle Pass, you're going to need to um, close your game on the desktop if you're on a PC and then go enter Big Picture Mode on Steam and then purchase the big, uh, the game the game pass if you're on Black Cell and uh, get the Season 2 Battle Pass. And then what will happen, what will happen basically is you will then um, be able to purchase it in big picture mode if you want to continue and play the game in big picture mode, then no problem. That's fine, but I, I'm just saying if you do not want to play the game in big picture mode, then uh, exit the game and then uh, obviously... Exit the game, and then obviously from from that point, from that point, then ah damn it! So from that point, once you've uh, purchased your battle pass in big picture mode on Steam, then it's simpler for you to. Where did this guy get me from? Oh, it's a gun! Ah, I didn't, I didn't see that. So once you've purchased your battle pass in big picture mode, you can either continue to play the game in big picture mode or you can come out of it because the battle pass has been purchased. And then you'll notice that in desktop mode, uh, your battle pass 
will now be working. You know? Did I get I got both of them. Wow, that was crazy. I got two people. <laughs> and they were in different places, you know, like different positions. Left and right. That was crazy. Uh, so that's what I'm saying, that if you have any problems on Steam to purchase Battle Pass, go in a big picture mode and then in big picture mode purchase your Battle Pass. Should you decide that you do not want to play a game that way, then you can. You know? Then then you can you can, you can definitely uh, play um, play the game in big picture mode if you want to, or you can play it in desktop mode once you've purchased your battle pass, and then just simply exit out of uh, the game. You know? You see? So, I'm just saying for people who can't purchase battle passes in desktop mode, go into big picture mode on Steam. Purchase the battle pass if you want to continue playing the game, go ahead and play it. But if you want to come out of big picture mode and then go into desktop, your battle pass would have been purchased and then you'll see it's uh, actually been added on once you start playing on desktop mode. So it's just a, a way of buying your battle pass for season 2. I mean the season 2 battle pass for your Call of Duty 3. So that's what I did because I couldn't do it properly on desktop mode. It's, it just kept showing the website thing and not doing anything else. It just keeps saying loading, loading, but it doesn't do anything. So when I went into big picture mode, I noticed the game started. I was able to go into battle pass, purchase the battle pass in big picture mode properly without any problems. And then from there, I was able to come out of it, go into desktop because I prefer desktop. I did give you reasons because I use a DualSense controller and sometimes when the, because it's got a disconnecting issue because of the USB cable, uh, it, it then takes away the sound from my Bluetooth speaker, puts it onto DualSense controller, and then obviously sound is gone, so I need to have access, you see? Like if I click on this, it gives me access straight onto my, uh, whatever you want to call it, onto my uh, desktop, you understand? Then I can change it quickly without disturbing the game. I can actually go back into my game once I fix the sound, you know? So that's why I prefer desktop mode. But if you like uh, the big picture mode, it's not a problem. You can still play the game in big picture mode. I, I, I personally don't have a problem with big picture mode, except that I feel sometimes it just doesn't work uh, the way I, I feel like it's supposed to work, you know? Sometimes it, it just doesn't... I don't know what to say about it. Sometimes it works and sometimes it, it just doesn't... It's not like desktop. Desktop you can get in, if you have a problem you can get out, and all that good stuff. We've taken the lead. I don't even know where this guy is. Hardpoint I got the bomb thing, I get shot. Uh, that guy's using a shotgun as well. Yeah. Ah! Zombie! Zombie, no! Ah, wow. So, like, like I said, if, if, um, if you can't purchase your battle pass, you just, pick, uh, just go into big picture mode on Steam. And that's it. Once you go into big picture mode, you will definitely be able to purchase your battle pass. Ah, wow. This guy's got a perfect spot. He's just hiding and... Ah, yes. Got the dude. I'm playing the game in uh, on Ultra, so... I'm, I'm actually surprised that it's really performing very well, and and I can't I, I can't actually tell I can't actually tell if wait I want to see something is this on okay it's off what is the sound there quite a weird sound right so I'm playing on ultra and the game really looks good man. 
it's just looking really good. Where's the target? Where are we going? Where are all the goals? All the targets. I think that guy got a score streak. <laughs> oh, he was using his score streak when, when, ah, when I, when I, when I show, when I got him. <laughs> ah, you know, that's a boring part. Like, you know, you miss your target because someone gets you. <laughs> I think that was his missile. I didn't hit nothing, you know. Right, I think I got someone. See, that's the other thing as well. What you know, when when you're playing on ultra, like I said, everything just looks so much clearer. See, looks a whole lot clearer. He must have killed a lot of people just by standing there. Let me help this dude out. Oh my god. shooting at. You see so many people shooting but there's nothing that they're shooting at and, and no one is going to that thing to capture it. Like what are they doing? Oh my god, I need another gun. I need another gun. PlayStation, but it's not a PlayStation, you know. But it it is really clear. I mean, you can actually tell the differences between the trees and a person standing next to it. You know, you can actually tell that uh huh, that is a, a person. while I'm standing here. Ah, damn it. Oh, what the hell? Look at this dude. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, so if it lifts you up twice, you die. Right, so that's very interesting. I didn't notice that before. So if, if, if for example, If, for example, that um, that zombie lifts you up twice, you die. It's instant. You you will die. So you're not going to come back, type of thing. I mean, the one with the tentacles. If if it lifts you up the first time, you are okay. But if it lifts you up the second time, you will die. So that's why I'm surprised. Like ah, damn man. So boring. I, I I wanted to get my sports sticks from the zombies. Ah, 
Damn it. I was a, I was just a bit late there. Because I I should have gotten more. I was just a bit late.